Are you thinking about giving somebody a quilt? Here are seven things you need to think about before giving a quilt as a gift. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. Quilters and crafters are very generous people and they usually love to give gifts that they've made. But a lot of people have complaints about uh, people that they've given quilts to. And usually it's a variation of one of these two things. The first complaint that I hear is people that say, they never use a quilt at all. It's just stuck away in a closet. Nobody ever looks at it. They don't appreciate it. And then the second complaint I hear is a variation of this one. They use it in a way that I don't think they should use it. They gave it to the dog. They put it on the floor. The kid drags it around in mud puddles. And most complaints are variations of one of those two things. So when we give a gift to somebody, sometimes we have a fantasy in our mind of how that is gonna go. And usually it starts with the person receiving the quilt and they are overwhelmed with joy to receive it. And they're gushing about how amazing it is and how wonderful it is. And they're not worthy to receive such a special gift. And then they do treasure it. And then that fantasy goes on and it ends with that person on their deathbed and they're still clutching that treasured quilt, which somehow is miraculously still in pristine condition, even though they have used it every day. And usually that quilt is mentioned in their will and they either want to be buried with it or they want it donated to a museum. And I know that's a little bit of hyperbole, but sometimes that's a fantasy of what we think is going to happen when we give someone a quilt. But that is not reality. The reality is a bit less than that. Uh, most people do like quilts and they enjoy receiving them. But if you're going to give a quilt as a gift, then here are seven things that you have to think about. The first thing is many people don't understand the monetary value of a quilt. Quilters understand the amount of money and the amount of time that goes into making it. Uh, but most non-quilters don't. And why would they? They can go to Walmart and they can get a blanket or a comforter for $15 or $20. And historically, quilting was something that used scraps that would otherwise be thrown out. So for some people, they might think quilting is a nice bit of recycling. It's uh, saving things from the landfill, but they don't understand how much money some quilters spend in actually buying the materials that they use to make their quilt. So if you do want somebody to understand the monetary value of the quilt, it might take education and you might need to involve them in getting the fabric for that quilt. The second thing to consider is that everyone has their own sense of style. What is beautiful to one person is not beautiful to another person. And not only that, people's tastes change over time. So if you want somebody to get a quilt that really fits in with the rest of their decor and aesthetic, then you should involve them in the process of choosing the fabric, choosing the colors, choosing the pattern. And that's a way that they will be sure to get a quilt that they really appreciate and will use because it matches the rest of their space. I know it's not the same surprise if that person is involved in the beginning, but that is a way to guarantee that it's a project they will really like. And if someone doesn't have the same taste as you do, it's not a personal insult. That's just that they're different than you. The next thing to think about is once you've given a gift, you have lost control. When you've given a gift, it is theirs to do with whatever they want with. It's just like when you find a nice toy for a child and all they want to do is play with the box. Sometimes people re-gift things, sometimes people sell them, and sometimes they give it to the dog. It might hurt your feelings, but there's nothing you can do about it. Once you've given a gift, it's no longer yours. The fourth thing to realize is not every gift is gonna be a favorite. So let's imagine for a second that you're at a baby shower and you've made an adorable little baby quilt for the new mom. But the new mom has also received 20 other gifts. 
Grandma gave her four little dresses. Cousin Lucy got her a stroller. Neighbor Jane gave her three nights of free babysitting. I know the new mom is gonna appreciate all those gifts. And you might want your gift to be the absolute favorite, but it might not be, and that's okay. She can appreciate all the different things that she gets and use and enjoy them. The next thing to think about is not everyone likes quilts. And for some people, this can be kind of shocking and they might feel the need to prove that other people are wrong if they say they don't like quilts. But that's just the way it is. Some people don't like quilts and that's fine. The same thing applies to afghans, doilies, hand knit socks, or anything else you make. Most people like them and some people will not. So if someone doesn't like quilts, don't waste your time trying to convince them that they're wrong. Just don't give them a quilt and move on. The next thing to think about is that you don't owe anyone a quilt. Sometimes when people find out you're a quilter, then they think that you should give them one. That can be nice, but you're not obligated to give people a quilt. If you don't think that they are going to appreciate it or treat it the way that you think it should be appreciated, then don't give them one. You don't have to. The only person who controls what you make and what you do with it is you. So the last thing to think about is that many people really love and appreciate the thought that goes into a handmade gift. And many people would love to receive a quilt from you. They really do appreciate the time and the effort that's gone into it and they accept it as a sign of love. So do keep giving quilts and sharing quilting with other people. And if someone's really interested, then you can teach them how to make their own. You can find patterns and tutorials for quilts that make great gifts for other people or for yourself at ebitastudio.com.